What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing you a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you are new here, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are going to be going to Wanny Wanny School. So we are taking the class on a field trip. I am so excited. We better get going so that we are not running late. We better go grab our breakfast and get on the road because we do not want those angry Karen mothers to scream at us about being late. So grab our lunch and we gotta get on the road this morning because you know everybody seems to have to leave early in the morning and then there's huge traffic jams so we better get going. We are driving our beautiful Volvo XC90. Absolutely love this vehicle. We recently just bought it. So here we go. Oh my gosh. It looks like Oh my word, we literally have a low tire light on right now. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it to school. Somehow we literally got a flat tire. Oh my word. There is roadside assistance here. Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness for our lovely neighbors. They literally fixed our vehicle within like one second. I cannot believe it. All right. We are pulling up to the school very soon. It is a beautiful day here in Greenville, Wisconsin. Absolutely love living here. Look at this guy driving ahead of us. Oh my word. Where's the police when you need them? That is unbelievable. Literally almost smashed into the light post over there. Cannot believe that. All right. Excuse me, sir. You need to calm down behind the wheel. You're going to kill somebody. Unbelievable driving. Well, hopefully we motivate that person to slow down because they are still driving like a maniac. Oh my gosh, they're going like 200 miles an hour down this main road. think we need Wanny Wanny Police to investigate that. Oh my word. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my word. Oh my word. Are you serious right now? We are literally involved in an accident. Oh my gosh, my Volvo is flipped over. Oh my word. Excuse me, sir. Don't you look before crossing the street? What in the world? My car is literally flipped over and the wheels are still spinning. Oh my word. I am okay. Oh my gosh. Seriously? No, I have severe blindness. Sir, why are you on the road if you cannot see? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my word. Can you unlock this Cadillac? I need to make sure it's still running, sir. Please unlock the door for me. I need to make sure it still runs. Thank you. Have a nice day. Gotta borrow this guy's Cadillac to get to work. <laughs> I cannot believe this guy literally causes a wreck with my brand new Volvo. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this right now. Seriously, ruined our whole morning. Now we literally have no car. We might have to just drive the bus after work because our car is literally totaled. We're going to have to find a tow truck and have them pick us up because our car is literally flipped over. You know, grass is literally going to be destroyed. So let's start up the school bus. Hopefully our field trip goes better than our morning because that was not a really good start to our morning. Oh my gosh. Oh my word, that guy literally got my car. Oh my word. All right, we are driving the school bus right now and it looks like our low tire pressure light is on. Oh my goodness. We literally have a flat tire on our school bus. Hopefully, we make it safely to the post office. We have to pick up all of the students from their home and hopefully one of them has a repair kit for our tire because this is not going good. We might have to cancel the field trip. Oh my goodness. All right, the bus is roaring with its flat tire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so many places to go. We are going to the long lost forgotten post office of Greenville, Wisconsin. 
This place is going to be renovated very soon, so we wanted to check it out before it is gone forever. Seriously cannot believe the driving here in Greenville, Wisconsin. Alright. This guy's like revving his engine. Here we go. There we go. Finally a green light here. Oh my goodness. Literally got into like four wrecks this morning. You know, it's been been a little bit of a crazy day. Our bus literally had a flat tire. Our car literally had a flat tire. Now this maniac is honking their horn at me for some reason. Who knows? Don't you toot your horn at me! Whoa! Our bus is like drifting over here. All right, here is our first house over here. Oh my gosh, it looks like our student has a tire repair kit. Hi there. Oh my gosh, the, the pit crew is ready for us. Thank you, we appreciate you. All right, you can cross the street. All right, good morning. We are going on a field trip. How excited is everybody? Looks like we got the whole neighborhood out over here. Are we ready to go? Oh my word, that's my Volvo. Someone literally took it. Um, yes ma'am, can I help you? Is there a problem? I was told I can't ride on the bus. Yeah, we do not allow Karens on the bus, ma'am. I'm sorry to break it to you. All right, get on the bus. We gotta get out of here. Have a good day, ma'am. All right, we are headed to the post office right now. You know, this is a very sad day because this is the last day the post office will be open in Greenville, Wisconsin. So we got to say goodbye. We got to take a look at the place. And there is literally my Volvo. Someone literally stole my car and is driving it around town. Oh my word. And the school bus literally has another flat tire somehow. We did not even run anything over, and we have a flat tire. This is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. The bus is roaring. Look at this guy. Are you serious right now? Guess what? We're going to pass him, see how he likes it. See ya, sucker. Whoa! Whoa! That guy literally lost control. Sorry. Hold on, everybody. Whoa! All right, we made it, everybody. I'm sorry about my parking, sir. Welcome to the post office, everybody. Take a look at the beautiful Greenville Postal Service sign. This is the last time that the building will look like this. Let's head inside. Sir, can you tell us a little bit about the post office? It looks like a beautiful place to be. It is a lot of fun inside. Let's go check it out. Come on, everybody. Oh my gosh, it stinks in here. What is that smell? It smells like mold in here. And what are these chairs made out of? Old scarves? Oh my word, what in the world? Um, yeah, so here is the mail room, everybody. This is where you sort mail and you collect your mail. Very, very interesting place to be. Um, do not eat that plant. It's literally made out of plastic. Oh my word, tastes like dust. Well, hasn't been cleaned in 50 years, so great going. All right, let's take a look at the line that you have to wait in when you are bringing your mail. Apparently they have a lot of customers, so they have this VIP rope to direct the line. Oh my goodness, it takes like an hour to get all the way to the front. But the postal worker is gonna tell us a little bit more about the post office. Sir, how long has the post office been open for? You know, this place looks absolutely original. It has been here for many years in Greenville, Wisconsin. Can you tell my students a little bit about it? They literally did not even paint the walls. Look at this place. Very strange. This is a history museum, not a post office. Sir, do not yell at the postal worker. He's trying to do his job and tell us a little bit about the post office. It has been here for 500 years. The walls 
and paint have melted. Oh my word. It definitely smells. Oh my gosh, it's okay that your car didn't start. We're happy to have you. We're just taking a look at this post office. Anything else we should know about it? Um, there is a secret room back here, everybody. Take a look. There is a secret room with a fire alarm and a little window that you can look out at at the stolen car that someone took from me. Are you serious? That's literally my Volvo. But yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for letting us stop by your post office. We are sad to see it go, but we are excited for the new renovated place. So let's get going to the twist. Twist and shout. The post office is sponsoring our field trip, so they are going to be treating us to whatever ice cream that we want. All right, everybody, get in the bus. Let's go, let's go. All right, everybody is in the school bus. We are going to be heading to the twist right now. Literally so, such a busy day. So many car accidents and so much road rage. Look at all these Karens trying to drive over here. Oh my word. So we are roaring to the twist right now and the students are able to get one ice cream of their own and one for a family member. So, oh my gosh, this guy's passing us. It's that same maniac from earlier. Watch this kids, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Oh my word. The bus definitely likes to drift a little bit. All right, we are pulling up to the twist right now. Oh my goodness. Literally cannot make it around the speed limit sign. All right, we are pulling up right now and we apparently are getting honked at quite a bit. You know, luckily we got the four x four package here because we need to just drive on the grass. All right, we'll park the bus right here. We don't want to take up the whole parking lot. Come on, everybody. Time for ice cream. Um, Ma'am, is there a problem? What is so funny? She is laughing in our face. Oh, my word. Um, yeah, did you see the bus pass you in your slow Jeep? Ha <laughs> ha. School bus literally passed you, ma'am. Sorry. All right. Let's get some ice cream, everybody. All right. What do we want to eat? I think... Hmm. It is a tough choice. I think I'm going to have to go with the standard blue raspberry popsicle. Apparently, it is self-service today. What do you guys want to eat? They have a lot of ice cream choices. We literally have to just self-service today because they are on vacation. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my ice cream outside today with the class. It is absolutely beautiful here in Greenville, Wisconsin. You know, we had a pretty crazy morning. So many car accidents and many horrible drivers. Off the floor, we need to be eating our ice cream. But look at everybody enjoying their ice cream. It is the perfect day to relax, spend time enjoying ice cream and with our class. All right, everybody, we gotta head back on the bus and we have to drop you guys off at home. It's been a really fun day, but also super crazy. Excuse me, out of the driver's seat. All right. Here we go, Wanny Wanny Bussing is departing the twist. Hopefully we can get out of here. All right, we are going to cut through this little back area because the bus is really difficult to maneuver. Hopefully we do not get another flat tire because that would not be good. Oh my word. Oh my word, we literally almost got stuck there. This one's honking their horn at us for no reason, just passes us. Oh my word. All right, we are headed back to the neighborhood. Everybody will be dropped off. We'll have to let them know that, you know, we were in a car accident, but everybody is okay. We walked it off and enjoyed some ice cream. So 
So we are pulling up to the first drop off home. All right, here we are. Have a great day. Thank you for choosing Wanny Wanny School for your field trip. Have a great day. All right, we got to drop off at a couple more houses right up here. All right, here we are is our next stop. Have a good day. We will see you tomorrow. All right, we got a couple more people to drop off up here. And then we will head back to the bus garage. Return our bus and call it a day. Have a great day. Thank you for fixing my tire. We appreciate you. Luckily, we have some very, very handy students that fix the bus tires like four times because we literally need new tires on our bus and the air keeps emptying out of it. Unbelievable. We are headed back to the school right now. And we are going to hopefully make it there in one piece. Apparently, people forgot how to drive in Greenville. Oh my gosh. Our bus is literally stuck right now. Our bus is literally stuck. Somebody help! Here we go. Oh my gosh. We are literally stuck right now. We need like a tow truck. All right. There we go. All right. We are going to... Pull up to the school, return our bus. We literally got another flat tire from that car accident. It's been like our fifth car accident of the day. I think we need to head home before something else happens to this school bus. It's literally destroyed. We went through 20 tires today. This thing is drifting all over the road and it has been an unbelievable day here in Greenville, Wisconsin. We definitely had to check out the post office before it is gone forever. It will probably be updated in the next update. So it is kind of like a little historical memory there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, and as always, stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching everybody and I appreciate the support. Don't forget to su subscribe. Bye for now.